Good morning, good afternoon, folks. Welcome along. How are we all doing today? Is that right, Farmer Klein? Are they out? Well, there's a bombshell to start the day off with. Good morning. It is Friday. We are finally here at the end of the day. We end of the week we've made it. And we're doing something just a little bit different today. Uh, which should be kind of fun, kind of interesting. So before we get into that, let's see who we've got here. Uh, hello, Witchy. Hello, FK. How you doing? Joseph, Daniel. Uh, I will get to that question in a second. What's up, Dal? How you doing? And Kevin, I see you in there as well. And I think I've missed a few people at the top there. So let me just go and find out who you all are. Uh, I have got Hugh, hello, Matthew, Kieran, and Mr. Virtual Farmer as well. Hello, how are we all? Welcome along. Hope we're all doing very well today. Wow, so they've actually come out. Well, that is impressive. Right, and now my chat's behind. Super. So we are doing something just a little bit different. Um, as I mentioned, hey, Snora, how are you doing? Welcome along. Grabbing them this instant. Oh, wow. And here's me going big and green when the when the um, 300 series have come out. Okay. Not to worry. We are doing something a little bit different as I may have seen. Hey SFG, how's it going buddy? Welcome along. Um, we are in Florida. We are in the Florida Panhandle. Um, and we are on Emerald Coast today. So this is a great new map here by CCS 101. Um, Farmer Klein, I believe you've been having a bit of a play around with them as well. Um, uh, they're a really phenomenal little thing. And what we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to get ourselves set up here, we're going to have a little bit of a tour around, and we're going to see what's going on. Um, now, I did see the question there about the pickup truck. This is a Ford F-250, uh, and this is available on on the Facebooks. Um, you need to look for a gentleman called K-Man Modern. Um, so, K-M-A-N Modern. And he has a whole selection of different trucks, of which some of them we might get to later on. Uh, in fact, I go on to trucks here. He also does these two guys, uh, which are pretty gnarly. We might get onto one of those later. Um, so yeah, we're going to have a little bit of a setup here. We're going to see what trouble we can get ourselves into. Um, we do need to uh, fill up. We've got our little uh, seed tender here. We do need to fill up our seed, but we need to pull this forward first. I need to start walking on the ground. That'd help things. So if I, there we go. And this seed tender again is from Facebook, so I dove around to find those. Oh wow, this is going to take pretty much all of it. There we go, we'll fill that up. Now, we do currently have this, I say little guy, comparatively little. This is the um, nice big custom modern JR, uh, JD. Um, we're going, to we're going to detach this, because I've got another tractor down in the store waiting for us, which I haven't actually, it's a, a stock machine, but I've never actually used it, so we're going to give it a go. See what we can get um, happening here. In fact, yeah, I forgot I brought it up. These, uh, <laughs> these discs on this John Deere aren't very big, they're only 50 feet wide, which just seems incredible. But, um... So what we can do, if you'd like, we can set off by having a little tour around. We'll take the truck and we're going to have a bit of a drive. I have done a first look video which came out this morning, uh, so do go and check that out if you'd like to. Um, and see what's going on. Uh, Kevin, this is likely going to be a live stream map for me. I'm going to stream it at least once a week. Um, everything else, Oakfield and Meadow Grove, will be staying as they are. But everything else will be... Yeah, this will be changing up a little bit, I do feel. Um, so we're going to... We're trying to use new machines and mainly larger scale American machines where possible. So that's why we're going to stick this New Holland onto here. Like so. Perfect. <laughs> it's small, VF. <laughs> I mean, the great the great thing about that set of discs is they come in two options. Small, which is 30 foot wide, or big, which is 50, which I find nuts. But anyway, let's go have a little bit of a, a roam around, a little bit of a poke. You actually start this map off with a very high quantity of machines, uh, which is really good. And uh, now we're not going to use them all. Uh, we have traded a few of them out, generated a little bit of money, but we'll s um, and then we'll see how we go from there. Hey Llama King, how's it going? Welcome along, how are you doing today? Happy Friday. Um, just click this 
you if I can. Disconnect. Might have to do it from in cab. There we go. Better. You stay there. So this is our yard with some great new uh, silos. You'll see these all around the place. These are really cool. Very well modeled. These are modeled by, far by Farm Farm and they will be appearing across many different maps, let me tell you. But uh, they are very nicely modeled and very, very uh, low impact and on the FPS as well, which is really important. According to someone I was talking to the other day, though each one of those silos has less, less of an M FPS impact than a tree. So that's kind of cool. You actually start with some monstrous equipment as well. Uh, we've got rid of, this was full of the combine and all of its equipment in here. Still got a nice big plow. I'm not sure how much I'll use that, but it's there. This is kind of like our little workshop. And what I love about this, once you get through the door, you actually have to open up our electric doors. So little things like that that really kind of make this a bit more special. There's a lot of attention to detail gone in terms of um, how the silos work and integrate with each other. There's a lot of scripts around the place which means you can only get into certain cell points, grain stores, seed stores, fertilizer stores, things like that. You can only get in at a certain part of the day between, I believe it's between 8 and 6. Uh, so we'll go for a little drive. Now if you haven't checked out the first uh, first look video, I do strongly encourage you to take a look at it. Um, now Farmer Klein, I did see that you were doing a little bit of a stream on this last night. How did you find that? What are your views on the map? You've been doing a little bit of work with the beta testing, is that right? We have horses over here. Let's not forget those. And there's a, there's a kitten running around here somewhere as well. But there are several horses in there. Doing their thing. Uh, another console map. No, sadly, VF. Not yet. It'll have to be stripped out quite a bit, I'm sure. But yeah, as you can see, it's quite a large map up there. The forest behind us is pretty darn big let me tell you and it has a nice little hut in the middle of it so in fact we might just take a roam up there first uh, as I go the wrong way no I was going the right way darn it fully integrated with seasons uh, comes with its own um, with its own climate really so CCS 101 has tweaked the climate so it's more appropriate for um, kind of the for the panhandle down there. Ah, oh, the views, especially at, oh, the views you uh, you get along here when you're. Let's get it out there. Uh, when it's snowing as well, and the ground's covered in snow, I think those views are by far and away the best. Fields here are pretty expensive, but then they are. Well, pretty sizable. Field 23, I had a look yesterday, is a little under two and a half thousand pounds. Um, no, I do obviously, I've gone the wrong way again. This is delightful. Well, we'll do a shortcut. We'll go down to the, have a look at the stores. Yeah, Lama, the, the, we are based in uh, Florida, in the like north, northwest of Florida, in what's to, uh, described as the Panhandle. Um, so yeah, you get some really interesting climates, power slide. So, oh, this truck is a little touchy. So down here is a, kind of like a strip mall, a town. Uh, there's a few different shops, there's a few, there's a restaurant, there's a lake down at the bottom, but primarily the main reason we're coming here is to go and have a look at some of the uh, the stores we need to use. Well, this, this truck does like to slide out. So 
So here we have um, a garden center. Another great thing about the garden center is we can sell our compost in here. There is a, a built-in compost um, factory, compost unit, compost processor. Uh, and what's great about this is you have to walk over here. And that's why you sell your compost, that's kind of neat. So we'll take a little bit of a drive around for the next five minutes or so and then we're gonna get on with some get on to, with some tasks I think. Get stuck into some groundwork. Uh, over on the other side of the road we have a animal sale point. Now this gate here will shut at 6 pm so you can't get in to sell your animals after that time. I'm just gonna drive over there. Ta-da! Yeah, they are. That's okay, they're really nice little cat's eyes there. And the paint is set when you're in GE as well, because if you don't quite get them set right, they'll flip your truck over. We have automatic bale storage, so if you are going to use one of these fields, will no doubt create an awful lot of uh, bales. So you have the ability to come in here and stack them in here out of the way. So it will even give you a, um, a kind of a, a run through, a summary of what we've got stored which is really neat. So one's obviously square, one's round. And we're moving into the center of town here. Uh, you can see we're approaching a, a dealership where we've still got a few bits of machinery ourselves. This point on our left, this is our root crop selling area. On our right, we have a seed store where we can also buy lime from. Lime, fertilizer, seeds, all in there. Then we have our store. Now what's great about this, if you go into there, you can buy everything you need and it will appear over here. So that right now is my truck. Um, I think that's my Peterbilt, my Wilson's trailer, and my Macdon header, which I still need to pick up. And then a monster screen silo at the end. Ooh. You let me on the road. Who let me on the road? There we go. So we are going to just take a quick little cruise up into the woods. We're going to see what's up there, see what's about. There's a nice little kind of hidden shack up there with a few machines in. So if you want to jump straight into forestry, that gives you more than enough capabilities to do so. There are horses again. There's five of them, I think. Hey SFG, how are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you today? How's your Friday coming along? So we're going to race up here. We've got a few more little storage spots lying around. So another little, I think that's a hayloft there. Um, we've got a little hangar. And then into the woods we go. As you can see, this, this wood is monstrously big. If you're into a forestry um, kind of scene, I can't foresee you'll ever get bored of in here. Hey, Foxtrot, what's going on, buddy? How are you today? Welcome along. Hey, BD Contracts, how are you doing, my friend? Welcome along. Thank you very much for subscribing. And here's our little forestry area network thing, which isn't too bad. When you start this map, obviously you, there's a few bits of equipment in there you can see, you actually start with um, five different size machines from small steer all the way up to a big New Holland. Um, you start with a big combine, all of the equipment you'd ever want or need, so you really do start in a great place. I'm going to leave this truck here, because I'm sick of driving it around, and then I'm going to... There's a JCB you start with, let's just cycle through what else we have. This is obviously mine I brought in, and mine, and my truck. 
this truck, I do believe someone may be able to correct me, I do believe this is Custom Modern's truck. And also his trailer. In all, there are a lot of silos around here and when we start working on a field I'll show you what I mean. Um, I've really come at this at a bad angle. But they do require that we have a built-in um, grain elevator, an augers to use, which is kind of a really nice little feature to have in there. I'm going to my nice house uh, soon. Going to Uncle's farm? Oh, nice. Awesome work. The forest will keep you busy in the winter. That's exactly it, Dal. You got it. Uh, now we're going to try. Get around, get around, get around, get around. There we go. So these are the kind of semi typical grain trailers, really, you'd find in America, in Canada, um, gravity fed or gravity emptied. Um, so they're kind of cool. This could go wrong. No, good. It did go wrong. Mm -hmm. There we go. Which camera don't like Fox Trap? So we'll park this up on the yard and then we'll jump out into a a small to medium sized cultivator I think. Go and find some, although we have some crops that may, are they our fields? Oh, we might be able to go harvesting people. See what we've got in terms of crops. See if we're anywhere near being ready to go. Oh, we've got one. What is it? So we've got some wheat to harvest. Alrighty then. Change the plan. I wonder, we're going to find out where our reset point is on here, because I don't know. Ooh, it's right there. That's sweet. Also, what's worth pointing out on this map... Hey, Aaron, what's going on, buddy? How are you doing today? Well, welcome along. What's worth pointing out on this map as well, that um, this is our fuel bowser. This is full of fuel. Uh, we have fuel tanks on all of the main farms, but they're all empty when you start, so you have to come along and fill them all up first. Uh, so that currently has zero liters in, so we will need to at some point bring a truck around with a trailer, fill them all up, and I assume as we start harvesting a little bit more, obviously the need will increase, so that's kind of a, a nice little feature. Uh, but for now, we're going to take this header over, we'll crack out the New Holland. So how is everybody's Friday going? What have we all got planned for the weekend, people? I imagine some may involve a Massey 300 series now. Hey, Morton, how are you doing? I just heard, yeah, it's fantastic. Time to go and uh, download.
I would probably say that what size is this? 295 horsepower might be a little bit big to tow a header trailer around with, but um, we're going to keep rolling with it. Uh, yes, I think they are at the moment. Um, although, no, I think it might be console, console as well. I think that was the original delay, was um, Peter J getting them all ready for console. Let's see how much this field's going to cost me here. Which one are we looking at? Field 6. £400,000. I don't have 400000 VF, I'm just jealous of that. It's not fair. It's gonna be awesome. Do you remember whilst you're here to go and check out Mr. Virtual Farmer's channel if for some reason you haven't already? Uh, very much worthwhile. How do I get these lights off inside? What's going on with these? Hmm. Go, 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 go. Come on, push, push, push. Cough, cheap money. <laughs> I'm gonna at least harvest this first field and then we'll have a look-see. Uh, something, yeah, we need to also get in a, like a grain bin, a chaser bin, which can go into this JD. So let's see what we've got in that respect. I actually own one of those somewhere, but I want one of these. Oh, you are lovely. Let's go and find that. So you can see all of the, I didn't add in the Homer equipment or the potato equipment. They all came as standard, as did the universal fuel tank, the Joskin trailer. Uh, that did as well, so we had two chaser bins. So yeah, you really do start with an awful lot of equipment. By the wrong one. Darn it. Okay. Let's get that boss. Now we're cooking on gas. Behind me. Ta da. That's a pretty monstrous chase of in. Do also remember that there is there's uh, another first look video which is definitely worth watching. Mr. Eustace Farmer has put his own twist onto things and it is thoroughly worth checking out. So do go and head over to his channel. If you've yet to subscribe to him then I again encourage you to go and do that because he is very, very entertaining. And uh, yeah, he has done a two part first look because he does a bit more of an instructional uh, how to guide on the... Um, on the conveyor belts and the setups of the augers.
Look at that. Let's turn those off though. So this again is another nice, new to me um, combine. This one is from Custom Modern again. Uh, I do I like that equipment an awful lot. Um, he currently has two different machines available. There are this new Holland and there's also a Case Axial Flow combine. Um, which I think if you go to his Facebook page you can probably find them on there still. Uh, but yeah, this is a nice little uh, change. And if I'm gonna be truly North American. Let's get some lights on. Oh, that's better. But yeah, everything, every single one of his models is fully customizable, so you can change on this one, you can change the wheels you have, you can change the type of wheels, the width of wheels, the tank extensions on the top are changeable. Now what we should find... There we go. Awesome. This is also <laughs> this is the smallest header um, and mapped on available. This is 35 foot wide. You can get a lot wider. I think it goes up to 45 foot, which is just bonkers. Suppose I need to do this. There we go. I do need to get a baler. I need to. I, I sold the big baler they had, so I need to find something I can replace. I might go for uh, the crone, perhaps. Maybe a new Holland might be more fitting. Oh, I just realised. I thought that we had seasons on this, but clearly I forgot to add it. I've started a new mod folder, so I clearly forgot to transfer seasons across. Which is why we're not running it, but it can run seasons and it will be for me moving forward. But I do like the idea of having like an alternative to Oakfield on here once a week perhaps, maybe twice depending upon how I feel. And yeah, it is a stunning map as, you say, as we've touched on there. Some really good field of vision. View distances are great. Some really nice. Well, I see to be kind of typical North American town scenes where there's like a grain elevator or a grain silo is like the focal point, which is really quite something. Really adds to the whole map. Fierce. Ooh, get over that. So I don't actually think I I included the uh, extended and uh, uh, hired worker mod on here. So what we'll likely do is we'll take a few headlands off, strip it straight onto its own devices, and leave it be. I think. Let's 
So for all of those of you who are out there currently multitasking, uh, I assume at this point we're downloading the 300 series. What, what do you think? I'd love to get your feedback. Obviously I was lucky enough a few months back to get a hold of a beta model for the a Grown Understanding episode with Peter J. And they were, um, yeah, that was a really nice machine. Very nice. This open grain tank actually. I like the, to see the animation a bit more there. That's kind of cool. Thank you, Witchy. Witchy, how's the temperature for you over there now? Still too hot? Don't forget everybody as well, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to uh, hit that like button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, do go ahead and hit that subscribe button to keep an eye on what's going on everywhere. And also that little bell thing is apparently more and more important these days, so do go ahead and smash that. Uh, and we will, um, we would love to see you come into the Discord as well, so there is a link to the Discord in chat. Uh, and also in the link of the description, so have a look in there, join the Discord family where you can keep up to date with what's going on. Have a bit of chat with us all and just keep involved. Looks like a track you would see doing roadside work for cunt. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I, I can get behind that. I'm missing some. I've missed some. Get over there. Hello, Spencer. How are you doing? Welcome along. How's your Friday going, Spencer? GD! Welcome, GD. Welcome. Careful what you're doing, folks. Something's about to break. Welcome to Florida, GD, more importantly. So what we'll do, I think, I'm just going to take the edges off here. It's not a big field, but I don't want to be sat doing it for too long, so we'll get, uh, get the hired worker involved. Farmer Klein, if you're still in here, do you happen to know where there's a good, um, like, swather lying around? Like a big JD, uh, or a K swather or something? I'd love to get one of those on here. And do they work very well? Have you had any, um, success with them? Hey, John, how are you doing? Welcome along. I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you today? How is your Friday going? We made it to the end of the week. Uh, one of my uncles works for self South Education Library Board. Uh, let's step up there. Have a four to some of the bigger jobs. Oh, nice! <laughs> I'm not. I'm not entirely sure about that. Between you, myself, and uh, VF in. 
his um, Euro Truck series, I think we can pretty much destroy anything. Ooh, look good lights. Look at that. I missed a bit. Look how bright that is. Always nice to have an old Ford knocking around Foxtrot, no matter what size. So we're here, Kieran, yeah. Have you got it downloaded? How do you think? What do you think of it all? Oh, rubbish. Nearly made it. Nearly. I might, actually, given the way these fields are working, I might just get the hide work to go or follow the road. Really? Oh, thank you, John. I appreciate that. Hello, Terrier. How are we doing today? Welcome along, my friend. Uh, just bought the 399. Lovely, Kieran. Uh, John, there will be another video with Frank tomorrow. And uh, he's going up to all sorts of mischief tomorrow. Ledge here. That's lovely. And we will. I want to go and play with my big shiny cultivator, so I'm going to leave hide workers to do this. In you go. Go. Don't mess it up. Okay, seem to be behaving. Uh, tomorrow is not with Eddie, no. Um, Eddie missed his ferry. Um, so he is... Oh, car. He's going to be coming, but he couldn't quite make it over um, for um, for this weekend. So he'll be here soon. Don't worry about that, I'm sure. Now, what, what fields do I have and what state are they in? Cultivated, okay. Harvested, harvested. Right. We'll go on this one first. What should we do, folks? Should we go blue or should we go green first? The choice is yours. Richie goes blue. Lovely. Thank you, Richie. I don't... Yeah, I haven't ever driven this stock game. Um, this is a vanilla... Vanilla game machine. Never driven it. I think it kind of suits, though, at the moment. Oh, Lee, you were too late! GD with the orange. <laughs> well, what we can do, uh, we still have a bit of time, we'll get this one set away for about 10 minutes and then we'll bring out the green. That sounds good. Uh, now, hang on. I've already gone the wrong way once. Hey Ninja Forever, thank you very much for subscribing my friend, welcome along. I'm going to assume I can get into my field down there. And that's how we're going to play this. <laughs> next time Lee, next time you'll be on point. 
gonna park this, just swing it around here somewhere. I'm sure I won't make too much mess on my on my own lawn. That'll be fine. Irish Agri Contracting, hello my friend, welcome along, how are you doing today? Welcome to the stream, welcome to the simulation for the nation family. How are you this lovely Friday? Okay. What I really like about this map is all of the, fo like the foliage and all of the weeds are different. Everything just looks a bit, I don't know, a, bit, a little bit fresher perhaps. Okay, so we are going to plant some. Uh, let's be let's be real here. Let's go for some beans. Very good, thank you, Irish. Very good indeed. We're just going to get everything set up. We've got automatic whip bomb, none of that larky. Perfect. Hey, Venkat, how's it going, my friend? Welcome along. How you doing? So yeah, what we'll do is we'll get this set away, we'll get this, like, maybe do a, a couple of passes and then we'll, um, we can probably at that stage set it away and leave the high worker to do his thing. Oh, I'm going to clip the hedge here. I'm going to clip the fence. Is he, no, it doesn't look like he's going over there. Typical. Seems a little wide. That looks better. Good if the 300 were released tomorrow as the number plate would be the date. Oh, that's, that's a bit of a shame. I'm sure it's a small thing we can all get over though. Ah, this is Emerald Coastly. This is a brand new map coming out for PCs by CCS101 very soon. Uh, this is set in Florida in the US. So I thought I'd go for something a little bit different. It's a very well made map. Uh, it's something that's very enjoyable to drive around on actually, so yeah, it's going to be quite good. No worries, GD. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Have a good rest of your Friday. What's the most hours I put into one save game? John, that's a great question. Uh, I think it's the West Coast. Although, no. In one save game, it would be the West Coast. If it was on a map, it would be Cobra because there must be in the region of about seven or eight different Cobra series for me. Um, so yeah, I'd say it's probably the West Coast and Cobra. Oakfield will be getting up there. By the time I get, I haven't got an end date in mind for Oakfield, but when that arrives, it will be getting pretty high on the list. Uh, well, I've just realized. I think I got a 36 meter spread up. Should have put a tram line in there, but I didn't, never mind. Of 
Cobra was a great map, and without doubt. It could be a phenomenal MP map as well, you're right there, Terry. Uh, Lee, beg your pardon. Yeah, it could be really good for that. What map are you playing on, Venkat? What are you doing? I need to not turn quite so tight with this. Awesome stuff. at all. On this drill there is somewhere you can get like a little bit to go on the back so it kind of attaches onto the, this and this, those two little hooks and it's like an additional tank but I don't know where to get that, haven't seen it. Hey DJ, how's it going? Welcome along, it has indeed been released, yeah. Happy weekend everybody. Do that. No. no, it's not in yet. Okay. Jade Mountain Map. I can't say I've played that one, to be honest. A 390T. It's a good one. That will be a good machine. Oh, I've crashed again. I've crashed again. Ugh. And this is giving me horrible trouble to me. Oh, that's never fun. Thank you very much, Terry. I appreciate that. You have a good rest of your day. And we will catch you in the next one. I might stream tomorrow. It's undecided yet. We'll see how it goes. But definitely tomorrow we will have another episode with Frank. I love the size of the exhaust system on this machine. Just look at it. It's huge. That's quite a view. Uh, not using keyboard steer mod, no. Not anymore, don't really like that. start doing actually is just missing a lane just to make turning a tiny bit easier. I think that's what we'll do next time round, we'll just skip a row out. Although this field is one of, bring up my map again, this field is one of the biggest I own and it's really not taking long to cover. Kind of flying through it. You almost forgot. It's going very well, thank you, Aditya. Yeah, very well indeed. What's not to like? It's Friday, the sun is starting to shine over here. There is nothing to dislike about today. Okay, so what we might do, just in the interest of keeping things
fresh. Uh, kind of explore a little bit, little further sections of the map. I'm going to stop here, we're going to buy a new field somewhere else and we're going to go and cult start the cultivator away. I think that sounds like the best plan. Hey Wormworx, how are you doing? Welcome along. And Martins, hello, hello, how are you doing today? Lovely to have you both on board. Welcome to Emerald Coast in Florida. As we walk through this little meadow. Walk through some trees. And pick up this beastie. This here cultivator behind me requires something strange like 350 horsepower to pull it. It's huge. Very hot. How hot is it over there, Aditya? I'm, I'm very curious. Okay. We shall... I'm going to feel this a little bit intriguing. We'll head this way. I think field 14 looks like it could be good. Oh, my indicator's on. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the road. Oh, this has gone wrong. This has gone wrong. I'm just going to pretend that didn't happen. Thirty nine to forty degrees. That's crazy. Yeah, and then we'll bring them back on. Pretend like uh, like that wasn't a thing. <laughs> that went wrong quickly. Um, so I think yeah, we'll aim. Just plow one up here a little bit more. Hey, Austin. Yeah, you uh, you turned up at the wrong time to see that. That wasn't ideal. I thought it was going off very well. Oh, we've gone for it. We've gone for it. Oof. Here we have a, a little fertilizer cell point. This again is uh, you can open this manually, but this is where you get your anhydrous ammonia from. So fertilizer. And then up here we're coming up to our livestock farm. So we'll have a bit of a cruise into here and see what's going on. This this livestock farm is really cool actually. Really, really good. Very well thought out. growing here. Look at the size of that field. There might not actually be anything to cultivate up here. Those two big silos, the two blue ones, are for forage. So for fertile, uh, for silage, for maize. Oh yeah, we've got a field here we can go into. And then we have a nice little bin up there, which I'm going to go up to and we'll have a quick look at as well. The AI is stopping there because I had to reset the traffic because I crashed, really. It's all my fault. Mika, hello, how are you doing? Welcome along. I'm doing very well, thank you. And Ethan, hello Ethan. Welcome to the stream. How are you both doing today? Happy Friday, everybody. You can open up there as well. Oh, now they've all caught up. So something is growing here, I'm not quite sure what. So yeah, what we're going to see, we have a little silo up here. Now the great thing about these silos, they're all technically connected to each other, but they're also not. So, the, for example, 
If you're at the main yard and the, your silos are all full, you use a maximum capacity of 150,000 litres of whatever it might be. Canola, rape, uh, canola, barley, wheat, corn. Uh, but you can only ever empty out 100,000 from the main yard and the remaining amount has to be emptied out from each of the individual bins. So this one here, for example. So this is where you bring your little con uh, conveyor belt over, or your auger, and you'd empty it out of the auger into like a trailer. So that's a really, really cool feature. I do like that a lot. Now if we go into here. Just finished downloading the Mass Effect. Well, there you go, Aditya. I hope you enjoy it. It's going to be a good one. Absolutely going to be a good one. Everything's growing, except for field 17. So we're going to go straight up and have a look at field 17. So up here we have the Compost Master installed as well, and he's done a really nice job of installing this so it's actually the place bulb doesn't feel that big. So here is that we've got the pig yard, we've got the compost master, some smaller bins to store in as well. Bit of everything. As always, the detail, that's always the key to success there. You're not wrong. The width of this. This is crazy big. I'm not sure actually how it's unfolding. Oh, the hydraulics are down there. Okay. Isn't that nuts? We'll take an investment. <laughs> right, perfect. And voila, we are away. You've seen bigger. No doubt you can't get bigger. This is still 50 feet, apparently. Pretty monstrously big. Big enough for what we need anyway. Only three subs remain? Yeah, we're creeping up there. Which is always crazy. potatoes in there we can harvest at some point. I think what might happen as well is we continue to progress in this game we might find that we just end up merging this field, those two, uh, that one in the corner together and making one super field. So 18, 19, 17, 16 can all just become one for me. What do you think the model is to make everything absolutely big, like 100 meters wide? I think there's a point where it becomes a bit ridiculous. Um, obviously there are bigger pieces of equipment. This is, you know, a very um, true to life piece. So that in that case I have no problem with it. But when they make things that wide, it's just a little bit too much in my mind. There we go. 
flying through it. Oh, and I'm not paying attention. What mod is that called to it? This is a John Deere. I'm going to stop squirming around. This is something that I found, I believe. Uh, does it give me a model name? Even got a little tow hook on the back so I can pull some other monstrosity behind it. I don't even have a... There you go. Search for LBJ modding and then you might find it. No problem Spencer, thank you very much. Today's video is a first look on this map, so it'll give you a little bit more detail about what's going on. But thanks for stopping by nonetheless. Hope you do enjoy, have a great rest of your Friday. Yeah, that is true Adichie, that's a bit, uh, a little bit ridiculous perhaps. Pretty darn wide. I like making stripes as well, that, that's always fun to do. I might just keep, oh that's a field full of corn. Is it corn? Yeah. I should probably harvest that first. Sunflowers. Harvest that first, then we'll cultivate it down, and then we'll merge some fields together. That's our plan, people. That's what we'll do. Hey Colton, what's up buddy? How are you doing today? Welcome along. How's your day going so far? Well, thank you very much Colton. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much indeed. Hope you do enjoy. That's why we make everything, just so you all can enjoy it. I certainly enjoy making it myself, so if everyone enjoys it, we're all winning. Bye bye, DJ. Thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you do enjoy. Have a great rest of your weekend. Now I'm going to have to zip down here. Stuff. So we're flying through now. Oh, a little bit of a wobble on though. 
We're wobbling. It's wobbling. Behave. Oh, Colton, looks like you've upset Nightbot somehow. Okie dokie. Awesome, so we'll get this little strip done. Then there's only really the headlands left, so we need to... We'll go back and check on the combine, because I know for a fact that that's stopped. So we'll go and see what he's up to. Hello, Brady, how are you doing? Welcome along. Venkat's going very well, thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much, Brady. I really appreciate that. I hope you do enjoy your stay here. Whoop, beg your pardon. Flexing with them, tracked it. Oh, you know it. Gather them. <laughs> Nightbot loves everybody. On occasions. Second here. Have I played Karma Kite before? No, no, I never really got into that. Might have to try it. Okay. That's just a bit much. What do you think of car mechanic? Uh, ben Cat, how are you finding it? Hey Fahi, what's going on buddy? How you doing? Welcome along. Thank you Dal, appreciate that. Not all too bad, thank you, yeah, not all too bad at all.
Appreciate that, Fahi. Thank you, sir. Fahi, do you know if Mr. Dave is up and live soon or what his agenda is? Ethan, we made it! We got over there. We'll have to see what happens. I think some people may have been playing. If not, we are fantastically beating our sub goal. A few poor children. I think you're right, yeah. I think you are right, sir. So we will just leave this on the edge of the field here once this wraps up. Then we can we'll go and check on something else, see how we're coming along. See here, just a distressed farmer sprinting down the highway. No, oh, I see. Now, okay, some gaming. Welcome along, by the way. <laughs> Shockingly, Fahi, hey? Shockingly. Well, we'll keep going until he comes up. Can't imagine it's too far out. I've heard good things. I've seen a lot of good photos of them. I played with the Beta a while ago, um, and that was a very good model. So when we finish here, I'll go and I'll download them and see what we can get up to. But yeah, they look great. That's for sure. They do look really good. the whole stream just lurking. Oh, I see. Well, nice to have you on board anyway, Sim. I'm expecting to see a lot of uh, 390s and 300s uh, coming up along streams, videos, thumbnails. They're going to be everywhere. Not that big, although it seems bigger on the map, I'll be honest. It's one of the biggest ones we've got, yet it doesn't feel that big. Cool. Catch you later, Venkat. Thanks very much for stopping by, buddy. Have a good rest of your day. Got to be done, Fahi. I'm gonna have to try and figure out a way for Frank to get one. It would be rude not to. Catch you later, Ethan. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Have a great rest of your day.
What are we doing on tank wise? We're looking good. I'll slow that down a bit, that's better. What are your plans for the weekend, Fahi and Sim? What you got going on? Do you think Frank will buy a John Deere? We have one, uh, John. It's... I don't know, he's a bit tight for money, so it's probably unlikely that he'll buy another one anytime soon, because they do cost quite a bit of money. Um, that said, never say never. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, enjoy the good weather and make the most of it, my plan. I am not sure what mine consists of yet, to be honest, Fahi. We'll have to wait and see. What I'd like it to consist of is not crashing into things. There we go. But would he buy a new John Deere? John, that's unlikely. Do like, I do really like the one he's using at the moment though. news we are flying we'll get this finished up in the next couple of minutes and then that should probably wrap us up nicely the field of view and the range of view on this uh, map is quite something when it's all snowy as well in the winter it does look fantastic for that exact reason there's a JD bot has to be 7810. <laughs> yeah, I can I can see that. I mean I like the 6810 I have on there, but the 7810 can't really complain about. It's a good little thing. Ooh, get around, get around, get around, get around. Nailed it. one he had on demo oh that wasn't Frank that was in Oakfield uh, that one is coming yeah I think he's gonna buy that one uh, on Oakfield farm that one will definitely be arriving um, as for when I'm not sure oh okay, okay, perfect thank you Fahi well, we'll do one more length up and down and then we'll call it a stream if you wouldn't mind jumping onto my uh, YouTube page and grabbing the first look from this morning, that would be greatly appreciated. Do you like this combine? Looks very good with the Macdon on the front of it. It's killing it.
as I look away and start to miss bits. Good job. Okay, so what we'll do, we will just leave this here actually, I do believe, and we'll come and catch up with that at a later date. So thank you for everyone who is still here, thank you all very much for watching. I have been Simulation for the Nation, and you have all been fantastic for sticking with us, and until next time, probably Monday, we will see you later. But until then, uh, do enjoy yourself, do have a great Friday in the sun, go and enjoy yourself all weekend, and we will see you on Monday. So until then... Thank you very much. Oh, no worries, Fahid. Don't worry about it. Um, I can stick that in. Let me just get a hold of it for a start. Uh, if you haven't yet checked it out, do go and check out uh, my latest first look video from this morning, uh, which is um, up live on my channel now. So you can go and find that. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. Do stay safe. Enjoy yourself. And we will see you on Monday. Catch you later.